Takita Oma returned to the Kangen Omega story 132 chapters ago. Since then, he's only had one major fight against Lolong in the finale of the Purgatory vs Kangen tournament, with him acquiring victory and saying the following. I couldn't lose to you no matter how strong you were. I've got too many people waiting in line for a rematch. Now, let's discuss who those people could possibly be, and overall, who Oma is most likely to fight in the future of the Kangen Omega story. I hope you enjoy. His most long-awaited fight is of course against the second Takita Nikko, also known as the Tiger Nikko slash Worm Nikko. The one who had given him the advance and was key in the situation that resulted in his master's death. For a quick reminder, he's the one who sent Kiryu to kinda make Oma go berserk, which allowed him to weaken his master, and then of course the Nikos fought one another, and my theory is that Genzan was somewhat manipulated as well, which of course resulted in Oma's master's death, most likely due to the Tiger Nikko manipulating Kiryu, which resulted in Genzan thinking that his student was in trouble, and then everything like that, we know what happened. Regarding the Tiger Nikko himself, his interest in Oma is still kinda unknown, but most likely connects to the thing known as the Tiger Vessel, which in my opinion is Nikko's want to achieve immortality in a similar way to what the Connector most likely has done. Fei during his death also calls Oma the Tiger Vessel and that he was all along. This claim is still very mysterious but I believe it relates to Shen Wu Long, the Connector and the whole reincarnation immortality clone things. Their fight of course will be the Battle of the Nikko style as the only two true masters that we know are still alive unless the creator Gai Mukaku is alive or the Tiger Nikko trained another student since Fei's death but I personally believe that is unlikely. Oma at this point still needs more training as the Tiger Nikko is pretty much confirmed to be on Edward Wu's level and potentially above now as he was able to improve the Nikko style once again. I feel as though their fight may actually occur inside that one forest where I believe the Tiger Nikko had a role in the death of all the other Nikkos and why I guess Gaimukaku is driven to kill the worms and the whole existence of Garuki. Next of course is Oma having a rematch with the almighty beard Kuroki Gensai. That is a must see for all us Kengen fans. Like subscribing to this channel, greatly appreciated. However, I believe Kuroki will take a training position for Oma's fight with the Tiger Nikko instead. Perhaps when it comes to pre-initiative mastery, as we did get a few implications from Lolong during their fight, that Oma really isn't a fully developed master of pre-initiative, and on top of that we did have him talking to Canada about his new variation of foresight he's created, so maybe Oma's final step will be training with Kroki. So maybe a sparring match between both of them will be the extent of their fight. And if you remember back in Ashura, we learned that Kuroki did something with Oma's master regarding the Nikko style. So maybe Oma will go through a similar thing with Kuroki. And we know Kuroki's master helped Gaia Mukaku create the Nikko style. So yes, I do think there'll be more so a train thing. However, there is also the possibility they could face one another in the new up and coming Annihilation tournament. Oma is pretty much confirmed as the fighter for Nogi, and Kroki could probably enter under his friend once again to test himself perhaps, or maybe to like train up some of the fighters in a very serious setting for the future worm fights as well. Up next is Kano Egito. This is more so a one for myself personally as he's a fellow top tier. However, we did get Kano beating up Oma in the first round of the Kengen Ashura Annihilation Tournament, with Oma showing interest in fighting him back then. Once again, I could see both of these two facing one another in the new Annihilation Tournament. However, I do think it's possible that Kano won't be entering due to the Worm stuff and maybe not being interested whatsoever as he isn't the current Fang. Also, stay tuned for a full breakdown what if battle between these two. Garuki is someone who I also believe will face Oma. This isn't a rematch situation, just the whole Kiryu situation of trying to make Garuki the new god and to defeat the old god. Roki has also showed interest in fighting Oma and there has been some tension between both of them ever since they met, so this would be good for story progression. Then we also have Kogo, who's now in a student situation with Oma. 
However, Koga's initial goal at the start of the series was to defeat Oma, so the old and new protagonists fighting one another in a competitive fight in the future is a most likely occurrence. The connector known as Shen Wu Long is someone who may be the original version who Oma is the clone of. He has been presented as someone potentially in his own league of power. And of course, Oma seeks out the strong, him fighting the connector, and I guess getting bodied in some regard is a most likely occurrence, maybe in the Berserker Vault perhaps as they're both there. Kiryu Setsuna, even though he's sitting back in a training role of Garuki right now, will most likely have a confrontation with Oma, maybe during the same time of Ruki and Koga's fight, and of course we all want to see a rematch between Kiryu and Oma, especially a more sane Kiryu, that would be a great fight. Kuro Ryan, even though he's in a training slash sparring situation with Oma at this point, them having another all-out fight again is something all of us Kenyan fans would love to see. Oma's had like endless sparring matches or fights with him, having a big final one would be cool to see. And of course, I don't believe anyone would have a problem with that. Yarn as the head of the worm is someone who may fight Oma. I'm not too sure about that. I feel as though Oma's fights are more towards the Tiger Nico and the Connector. And that Yarn may be fighting someone like Lolong perhaps in the future. I could see that as Lolong is also a worm hunter. And that would be quite interesting. Or maybe a future Koga fighting Yarn. It is a possibility. I wanted to mention it quickly but... Not too sure about that one. And the last fight I want to talk about in today's video is Wakatsuki. While he did lose against Oma back in Ashura, he is a character who becomes dedicated to winning rematches to people he loses against. For example, when he lost against Hatsumi, he was dedicated to defeating Hatsumi, and then when he was defeated by the Fang Kano Gito, he completely forgot about Hatsumi in a sense and fully dedicated himself to defeating Kano. And then in the two year time skip between Ashura and Omega, he was solely working on anti Nico style tactics for someone who he believed was dead. That is some pretty wild stuff, so him having a draw against Faye, a fellow Nico style user who is dead, confirmed 100% this time, them fighting one another is I guess something that should really happen for Waka's mental state. Pretty funny to talk about, but yeah, that is something that I could see happening. Let me know down below any other fights you think Oma is going to have. These are the main ones, of course. I would love to see Oma have an endless amount of fights. And this really isn't including like any little sparring matches with people he kind of mostly trains with. These are just fighters I think he wants to go all out against or most likely will in the future. But that's pretty much everything for today's video. Check out all the other stuff in the description if you haven't already. And of course, shout out to the mad lads who support the channel via the Patreon. But yep, that's it guys. Peace.